going to do is purity seals them. Now, I'll show it to you on a figure. Already done. You can see the purity seal across the top here. If you use just plain black, it'll look stark, it'll look wrong. It'll look, it won't look very good. So I'm going to show you a technique for making it look subtle, and that sort of washed out kind of effect. The colours you want. It's like a mixture of colours. I'll take the Agfrax Earth shade. It's quite nice at thinning down paint, but still adding pigment to it. And you want some Chaos Black as well. And also keep handy the Bone Shade, because you want a pure black. So you take some black. And I usually add to it some of the bleached bone. And that makes it a creamy kind of grey colour, which is the kind of colour that you want. And then I start thinning it with Agfrax Earth Shade. And you get a thinned down wash. Now it's hard to get it right, so I'm going to put it on here and see how it goes. We've got a fine detail brush here. And then I just paint on just by moving the brush a little bit, that's a bit thick there. I just paint on my detail. And you can see it going on the figure there. That creates that lettering effect. And I just wiggle the brush a little bit to create sort of that handwriting kind of feel. So really just keeping a very nice clean tip to the brush with not much paint on it. And now I'm really beginning to get a nice thin effect. There's another one just here. I can see the brush is too overloaded so I'm just going to ease off a little bit of paint. Matt has done that nicely, and then a little bit here. Going to ease off the paint again, keeping it thin, and just working it in the gaps. And the effects that, that creates is not solid black, but like a washed-out handwriting. And that's easier going on the eye. Solid black would be too overpowering on the figure. So again, just on here. Give it a little wiggle. The occasional gap in between so it looks like it is writing. And then and now I've got it consistency just right. And look, as it starts to run out of paint, it fades. Well, that all adds to the effect. So that's coming out really nice there. And I'm just going to touch a little bit in each gap, showing that the purity seal writing continues underneath. It's looking good. Got a bit of water because my mixture is drying out a little bit here. So it's re-watered down. Keep the paint amount thin. I don't want to overload the brush because I don't want to blob the effect. Still a bit too much, so I'll take a bit off. That's looking fine. That's a nice effect. So I'll just go over all the purity seals on the figure. Now I'll finish that off. I'm just putting paint on my finger, it's just easier going. It's quite delicate work this. But it's creating the desired effect just nicely. And there we have it. Again, time consuming, but that purity seal effect really makes the miniature look good. If your the strength of your paint comes out too strong, so it is too black, you're not happy with it. Take the bleach bone, wash it right down, watery, and then run it over the top, and that will knock the shade down of the handwriting on the purity. So it will knock it down a tone, and then that will lighten it a bit and blend it in a bit better. That's one way of salvaging it if you make your your uh, mark your, your handwriting too strong on the figure.